Good afternoon. I'm Michelle Kwan. I'm the Vice President of Public Sector Security Solutions for RSA. I'm here at the Tech America CIO survey, and uh, today I moder moderated a panel of uh, a diverse government people, uh, CIOs and CISOs, uh, from different types of, of agencies uh, and how they're dealing with balancing their mission and the cybersecurity challenges that they have. Uh, on my panel was uh, Simone Zygman. He is the CIO of NIST. Uh, Devin Bryan, who is the deputy CISO of IRS. And Alma Cole, who is uh, in charge of the Security Operations Center for DHS. Uh, he is actually employed by CBP, one of the components of DHS and what was interesting about this group of people is that they all have very very different missions and they use their IT systems very differently therefore protection of their IT systems is handled very differently uh, where uh, Simone has the challenge of managing scientists and academics who have a very uh, broad thought about what technology should be and they like to use the most innovative new technology to keep up with, with their research. Uh, and Devin has a challenge of dealing mostly with the public as IRS supports our taxation process and dealing um, with that process with the government, uh, with the private sector, private uh, users uh, face to face and the challenges of, of what that user interaction could bring to to the taxation process. And Alma, who has to collaborate and coordinate with 11 different law enforcement uh, sub-agencies and how he, he is, how he faces, what challenges he faces and how he works with uh, dealing with those problems. So the, the discussion really covered all the aspects of the CIO survey in talking about FISMA, FISMA reform, the challenges of the 853 controls and the stagnation of those controls and the, the uh, outdatedness of those controls and how we can possibly move to a more um, up-to-date current security posture based upon the attacks that are actually happening to these networks. And how these three different missions balance that mission and trying to accomplish those controls as well as defend their networks. So that was a very interesting conversation. The, the team also talked in great length about um, the attacks themselves and the defense postures that they're taking. They talked a lot about monitoring, changing FISMA to the continuous monitoring of the controls and marrying that with uh, looking at new controls based upon uh, the new way the attacks are happening, whether it's by web, email, or insider threat. There was also some discussion about what uh, private industry could do to help in terms of uh, helping the government in some of the malware exposure, uh, some of the attack vectors. Uh, also in looking at uh, uh, securing contractor systems and in securing those uh, non-federal systems the team closely with the federal systems. There was also a lot of discussion about sharing information and how hard information sharing is even within the agencies themselves. So looking at sharing information within the agency, looking at sharing information across agencies, looking at sharing information even civil, civil arm to defense arm and then looking at sharing information with the private sector and how it's a much more complicated uh, issue and situation than, than we can, can address today. So a lot of the conversation really stemmed around the complexities of federal government and that when we say it's one agency, we're really talking about uh, 10 or more agencies that have been glued together and that all have different missions and how that business model makes this a hard nut to crack and, and, and complicates issues more. Um, 
they all seem to identify similar issues um, that they'd like to see improvement on going forward, whether it's federal, federated identity management or whether it's um, being able to identify uh, attacks and malware more quickly. There was a general consensus of similar problems. Um, in addition to that, they, they delved into some contractual problems, uh, whether it's with acquisition or actually uh, identifying security requirements in a contract with contractor networks. So it was a very productive uh, panel this morning, uh, very interesting panelists, and uh, a little bit different viewpoint than the normal government panel.